Hi, my name is Steve Radich. I'm with Business Innovative Technology Shop, bitshop.com. This is a tutorial about how to make a Facebook like button for your club website. So we're just going to do this for Rotary Club of Sterling. We'll log in. And I have my login stored, so I'll just type that in. You'll now see at the bottom of the page I have a placeholder held here. And I'll click to edit the text. That will bring me to the edit page. Now, because of the code Facebook gives us, we really need to go into the source view here, so we'll click source. This is a little bit confusing, but right here you'll see placeholder. So I will take out the placeholder. And now I need to go to Facebook's page to their plugins. So it's developers.facebook.com slash plugins. We want a like box, is what they call it. Now, here the Facebook page idea, it defaults defaults to electives free milk doesn't really make any sense uh, why it does that so what we have to do is go to Facebook and of course Rotary Club Sterling is right on top so um, we can click this or we can go if it's not on the top there you can go to ads and pages there's probably a little bit shorter way to do this but not that I'm aware of click pages Rotary Club Sterling click it and now you will see this number here at the top at the very end of your URL you may have to click the URL and go to the end in case it scrolls past the end of your screen. We want to copy that, so highlight it. Um, you can right click and do copy. Now we want to go back to the like box page, right click and do paste. You can also use control C and V. Okay, you can now see Rotary Club of Sterling. We can set the width, the number of connections, how many people you want to show. Personally, I want this to be nice and small. So I want zero connections. I don't want the stream to show. And I don't want a header even. Uh, the header doesn't seem to make any difference. Okay, the width you can set here. I'm just going to leave it 292 the default. I'm going to say get code. And it will now give me this code. I need to highlight all that. Copy that. And you need the iframe code. And now I'll go in here. And I will paste that code here and update the page. And we will now see at the bottom Rotary Club of Sterling. I can like it. So if I was signed out of Facebook, then in theory, if I do log out, I can close this page. Just I'm not sure why Facebook's taking a second to log me out. But we click log out. Okay, now I'm not logged in. If I go back to the Sterling Rotary page, then you'll see I have an option to click like. If I click like, it will take me to Facebook and pop me up to try to log in. So I'm not logged in, so I would have to log in to, to do that. And if I click the actual face the actual link there for Rotary Club Sterling, it would pop up a new window here for Facebook, taking me to the page for the club. Now, of course, I kind of prefer they come to our website instead of the Facebook page um, but you know each club may be different on how they how they prefer to do that um, but the like button there will let people promote it and see your updates on um, Facebook so I think that's a very useful quick thing to do to your site and a good use of the space in our template at the bottom right because um, you know it's it's a better use than what was there by the default so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, my name is Steve Radich with bitshop.com, www.bit is in bits and bytes for computers, and shop for shopping.com. Um, we've been doing technology solutions since 1995, and we do free uh, websites for Rotary Clubs and some other civic associations. Thank you.